You are welcome to another video of the course F5B IP DNS. In the previous section, we have introduced and implemented F5DNS transparent cache. In this section, I'm going to discuss and implement F5DNS resolver cache, in which Big IP itself resolves DNS queries using iterative or recursive method and cache DNS responses, and of course, answers subsequent query for the same name from the cache. In the previous section, we discussed various cache types supported by F5DNS, transparent cache, resolver cache, and validating resolver cache, and demonstrated F5DNS transparent cache. In this section, we demonstrate another type of F5DNS cache, resolver cache, where F5 itself attempts to resolve DNS queries using either iterative or recursive method, and then cache the responses. Depending on the forward zone configuration, F5 DNS resolver cache decides whether to use an iterative or recursive method to resolve DNS queries. In the forward zone, we configure a list of DNS servers that the resolver cache will use to resolve DNS queries. When you configure a forward zone for the resolver cache or a list of DNS servers as a forwarders, the resolver cache uses the recursive method to resolve the DNS query. This means that the resolver cache sends the request to the servers configured in the forward zone and expect to get the final response. If you don't configure a forward zone for the resolver cache or you don't configure a list of DNS servers as forwarders, the resolver cache used iterative method to resolve DNS query. This means that the resolver cache send the query first to the root DNS servers and then to the top level domain or TLD DNS server and finally to the authoritative DNS server to get the final answer. To configure a 5 DNS resolver cache, we first create a new cache of the type resolver in the section DNS cache and then cache list we create a new cache with the name of for example DNS resolver underline cache of the type of resolver at the bottom of the resolver cache you see the option to configure new root hints or root DNS servers usually we leave the field blank so F5 will use the default root DNS servers and then finish. So we have configured a new DNS resolver cache. When you click the configured resolver cache in the top forward zone, you are allowed to configure a list of DNS servers to which the DNS resolver cache forward query for the resolution. In other words, if you configure forward zone, the DNS resolver cache uses a recursive method to resolve the queries. As an example, I will add a list of DNS servers with the name of forwarder and the IP address 111 and 4224 and 8. 883 DNS servers as forwarders and then finish. And then in the cache, DNS resolver cache in the top forward zone, we have configured three DNS servers as forwarders. We then create a DNS profile, a new DNS profile in the section profile, then DNS to use the configured resolver. Okay, so we create a new profile with the name of resolver underline cache underline DNS underline profile based on existing DNS profile and then we enable DNS cache of the type of DNS 
resolver cache and we also disable bind service as it is recommended by f5 community to improve the performance and then finish and in the final step we configure a new dns listener to use the new dns profile we have just created that uses the dns resolver cache in the section dns delivery and then listener and then G gtm listener list we create a new listener with the name of resolver underline cache underline dns underline listener with the ip address 192.168.2.107 and dns profile resolver cache dns profile that is all the configuration that we need to enable f5 big ip dns to resolve the queries based on iterative or recursive method and then cache the responses actually we are going to use the advantage of f5 dns cache to test dns is all the cache we query the new listener which has the ip address 2107 with ns lookup ns lookup and then server 192 168 2107 and then for example f5.com and if you query once again you will notice that in the second time you get the answer faster than the first time this is due to f5 dns cache for another example wikipedia.com it takes a little time but for the second time it is faster than the first time notice that when you use nslookup to query a name local client cache will not be used if you get the dns response faster in the second time it is due to dns server cache and not client cache to view the content of f5 dns cache we can use the command that we have also used in the previous section in the section traffic management shell environment with the command show ltm dns and then cache and then records or are set and then cache and the name of the cache which is dns resolver cache you can see the content of the cache to check just a five grep f5.com it exists in the cache to make sure we will delete the cache once delete and then again show you see there is no record inside the cache and we query again f5 it takes a little time and again it is fast and we query again you see a five now exists inside the cache it means that the cache is working properly the other method probably is to go through the cache dns is over cache and the tab a statistic you can see the statistics which shows how much the records are matched or missed against dns resolver cache 